Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Satisfactory. In the last episode we went over and got ourselves a bunch of plastic and rubber in our brand new explorer, Bumpy, who... Uh, it is so awesome to drive. I mean, I absolutely love this thing. Fantastic. Really, really, really good job from the developers on making this. Man, I love it. So much fun to drive. So, what we're going to do in this episode is get uh, expanded power infrastructure unlocked. Uh, but before I go and do a bunch of handcrafting, let's just open the MAM and have a look. So, we have analyzed mycelia and we need to choose something else. This mycelia can be used to create fabrics. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 1. Additionally, R&D has requested extra samples to determine the cause of an anomaly. Okay, very cool. So we can make fabric. Uh, but right now we are going to unlock the hard drive that we found when we were over at uh, our old base site from the, the old playthrough. So let's begin analy analyzing that. And let's see, is there anything else we could? We could do alien organs again, bacon, quick wire, nobelisk. There's a lot of stuff we could do. But right now, the hard drive is a priority. So I am going to uh, whip up all of the stuff that we need for making uh, or unlocking expanded power infrastructure. And then I'll see you in a few seconds, guys. So we're back over here at the... Uh, plastic and stuff because with all that plastic that I brought home it wasn't enough I am short 10 stupid uh, computers from being able to make uh, everything so we're going to bring back all the plastic that we can carry and then we're gonna take the drive back home again together because the, this thing is t just too much fun to drive and uh, we just make sure we have fuel for it there we go. I don't actually know if it refills from its inventory. Uh, I haven't tried that. It could be interesting to try it someday. But uh, we're going to go back and then we're going to unlock that uh, power. Uh, so let's take a drive and go get the power unlocked. The oil power. Because that is going to be very, very useful. Alright. So, this has taken uh, quite a while to get together. I uh, spent about an hour uh, crafting, an hour and 15 minutes or so, uh, handcrafting and going around getting stuff because I don't actually have steel pipe production set up yet. And you need a crap ton of steel pipe. I didn't actually realize that. So uh, that is something that we're going to want to set up relatively soon because steel pipes is huge. I mean, you really need a lot. Oh, we're going this way. And much, much more steel pipe than I uh, than I had any idea of. So yeah, steel pipe is gonna be set up quite soon, I think somewhere but uh, okay so we're almost back now uh -huh. I love jumping in this thing that is a lot of fun okay. almost back almost back and it's so fast I mean it took, it took no time to get back right yeah So much fun to jump in this thing. Alright. Well, we're back. And we should have everything else that we need. We just need those 10 computers. Why can I only make 7? Uh, let's just stick these in there. Uh, they are 
that out of the way. Let's see, what am I missing for the rest of the computers? The cable, I'm guessing. Yeah. And some circuit boards. I thought I had made the circuit boards, but I can make more. Uh, so... Let's just make... Circuit boards. There we go. Oops. And that's actually enough that we can craft the last three computers. There we go. And let's pick the computers in there and get this baby unlocked. Fantastic. Milestone reached. The fuel generator will match power generation to the increased consumption of recently acquired technologies and buildings. Additionally, improved conveyor belts can now be constructed. Thank you very much, Ada. So this is a big one that we got unlocked. So fuel generators, unfortunately, they need a lot of the same stuff that we've already been handcrafting. So I'll do some more handcrafting, I guess, uh, a little bit. Uh, and then we have the conveyor belt Mark IVs and conveyor lift Mark IVs, which is awesome. And we already have encased industrial beam production set up, so we can start upgrading everything. I am so happy about this. Seriously. Let's check the MAM as well and see what we have. Uh, Ethereum computer. Okay, I think... We'll get that one because I don't really want to make iron wire and I'm already have my iron ingots smelting facility set up more or less. So let's get the Caterian computer. Then let's see, we need a hundred quick wire. I think I have that. So I do. So let's research some quick wire. And let's just go back here and see what's next. I guess all our alternates are next and the jetpack, of course, which is also incredibly expensive. So we're going to hold, hold off on that for a bit. But all our alternate recipes we are going to get done quite soon. And of course the rebar gun, explosives. Yeah, there's still some stuff to do. There's still some stuff to do. So uh, what's next is I am going to do some more handcrafting so that we can, uh, whoops, where is it there? So that we can get some uh, fuel generators set up. This handcrafting is nowhere near as bad as before. So that's nice. And uh, once this is done, uh, we'll go out and we'll start setting up the fuel generator area. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in a few, guys. We are back over here where we are producing uh, plastic and rubber. And now we are going to produce uh, fuel power as well. So I have been handcrafting a lot of materials to get this set up. So that's what we're going to do today. And we're going to have a setup of uh, refineries here. We will only have four now, but we actually need eight. But four will do uh, for now, anyway. And uh, let's get this going. So we need that there. And then we can. Actually, we can start using our, yeah, we can start using our Mark IV belts. So let's put Mark IV belts on three, Mark I belts on, oh, Mark IV belts on three, Mark I belts, uh, Mark I belts on three, Mark IV belts on four, and conveyor splitters on no uh, conveyor poles on 
five, stackables on six, splitters on seven, mergers on eight, and if we go to production, we need oil refineries on nine, and we need power fuel generators on zero. All right, so we are set up. Good, so stick that in there. Take that in there. I'm missing iron rods. Okay. I don't actually think I'm missing iron rods, but let's just grab some in case if we have any. Uh, what we do? We don't. Darn it. I am missing iron rods. No, oh, there's some. A few. Not a whole hell of a lot though. And maybe I... Did I put this in the wrong way? No. Ah, uh, this is in the wrong way. Ah, uh, no. Because we are going to be taking the oil from over here. There's an oil patch there. So that's where we're going to grab the oil from. So this is in the wrong way. We need the splitter to go the other way. Like so... That's better. Okay. And let's get the last refinery up here. There. And the refineries, they, I think, so 450 on a belt and the refineries, I'm pretty sure we do need 60 a minute, yeah. So, a Mark 1 belt is enough for the input for those. Alright. We need some power poles as well, and some... Uh, what's it called? Uh, wires. But we don't have the materials for that on us. So, let's build up... The uh, the generator area first. These are big. I think I'll turn them this way. Or will I? Yeah. So right now we need. 12 and a half, 13 of them, but we'll big do with 9 because that's what I have materials for. And let's stick some mergers in here and have it come out uh, this way. In there. In there. And we'll have mergers over here as well. In there. In there. And let's hook those up. Just so we know what we're dealing with. And we definitely just need not one belt on these. The outputs because they only produce 37 and a half. And then we need a belt. I think something like this will do. Yeah. How far will it reach here? And then we need a merger again. Output coming this way. And I guess it's something like that. Yeah, that's right. Alright. 
and it will come down this way. And we need mergers here. We're gonna need more rods, I think. Oh, not mergers, splitters. We need splitters. just keep going. Okay, so let's put another generator in here. A little bit hard to see what I'm doing. There. And a splitter. Then it'll turn and it'll come back down and we need 25 of them and we barely have space for six so we're going to expand this out this way i think uh, let's get these two down and the input here will be on the other side Hold on. That. Perfect. All right. Then we need splitters in here. And belt going into them. Let's see, can we get space for one more just, just to see that the concept works? Oh, what I'll do is I'll go stand on this thing oh. and line it up here. There. There. Okay, so that's six that we have hooked up now. Once we get this built going over here, let's do that. to come over here and turn right around there. This is right. Ah, perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right, so that's six at least, and we need a lot more. Might have to do this in two floors or something. We'll see. We'll see. Alright. So let's see. Can we build a... Uh, oil pump? Uh, yes, we can. And we want the output over this way. Uh, oh, no. It's just... Put in a foundation here and a couple of ramps. Makes it a bit easier to get up and down. And then we need this to come out. That. Um, if you can hear my stomach, I apologize. I, uh, 
experiencing a bit of stomach trouble at the moment. Uh, so, is this right? I hope this is right. Actually, I think what I want to do is... Bring it up a bit. That. And. Oh. And let's see. This needs to be right here. So, I think we'll put one hole down here, like that, maybe, looks pretty good. And then all we need to do is... Actually, don't need it to come up on one of those. I need it to come down to a regular one. I think it's there. Ah, don't fall off. Dang it. Alright, get back up there. I think this works. No, it doesn't. And that's because... All of this needs to come over one. And... Let's just pull it the other way, shall we? I think that'll be a little bit easier. Come on. There. And let's see, is this right? It is. Very good. Alright, so once this gets power, it'll start producing. Very nice. And let's start working on some power poles. In there. Then we put one over here. Then we put one in here between these two. Oops. That was not my intention. You really uh, get propelled quite fast on these belts. The Mark IV belts. Uh, step on them and you go flying. There we go. And you need to hook up to those two. I'm missing cable, but I'm sure I have some in here. Somewhere. Up there. There we go. Okay. So those two have power. Let's see. Can we just build a power pole here? get this going through. We can. Very good. Alright. And then I think what I want to do is build a power pole. We want them in here, right? 
side and then we just need to figure out how to hook them up in there right we'll stick a power pole over here oh. reach that one yes it will but let's not. Let's uh, actually build one out here. And then stick these onto there. And will it go through? No, it won't because all the way over here. What we can do is just hook these up. And then we need a power pole out here. configuring right nope good so basically now all we need to do is hook up the power and we can do that at least for now right there and that should get everything going yeah there comes our fuel and what I'm gonna do is Overclock this if I brought my overclock thingies. I did not. So this will be overclocked to produce 450 barrels. Because that's what we have room for, and eight refineries can support uh, that. Seven and a half, I would say. And that can produce, support 25 or so, uh, 24 maybe, um, what are they called, fuel generators, the fuel no power, why don't they have power, should have power, they're hooked up there, that's hooked up there, did we just kill the, uh, No. So why don't we have power? We are producing fuel, so we have power out there. And this goes over here. And our... Why don't they have crude oil? Oh, crap. I made a dummy. Stupid! I know what's wrong. That was pretty dumb. Mm. Can't we just grab this? No. Nope. Alright, that was uh, my bad, guys. I uh, I wasn't thinking. I'm gonna have to tear all this out. Not all of it, just, just all the belts. That's enough. Alright. That's done. Then we can actually put the belts in again. They do need to go there. I 
put the crude oil directly in and that's no good. We need to convert it to fuel first, that's why we have the refineries, right? There we go. And... I guess we don't really... Yeah, we do need the merger. There. Like so... And here, we do need the splitters, or the, the mergers. And we need it to come out that way. Go. And Whoa. Okay. Almost there. the oil coming in here in the uh, in middle so what we'll do is have it up there we'll run it down here let's uh, cook it up this way first it's going to be easier So, mm, there, that was one too far, oh, whoa, I think it one does that, looks like you're targeting the belt and then it takes out the foundation instead. Just stick this uh, food oil in here because we don't want to carry it around. No point in that. Alright. So we are producing fuel now. Outstanding. Got a lot of fuel. What's going on here? There we go. Some fuel. So actually it's 240 fuel a minute we are producing now. So that should be able to support 6, 12, 4. Four refineries. Oh. No. Six. Should support six point two five refineries. And so yeah. And we are producing power. Yes we are, we are up to sixteen hundred megawatts. From a thousand, so we haven't quite doubled it, but uh, it's better. We're also consuming a lot more. Uh, so we need to get some more uh, concrete and stuff. And get the rest set up so that we are getting the max out of our production. So... In between episodes, I think I will go pick up the overclocking machines and 
you know, or over power, or what are they called? Power shards. And then I will overclock the refinery or the oil pump. And then we will set up uh, the at least the last three all of uh, fuel generators that I have uh, materials for. We'll set those up. And yeah. So um, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and maybe subscribe? And I'll see you next time.